Today, students are returning to class in Uvalde, Texas, three and a half months after a gunman murdered 19 children and two teachers at Robb Elementary. ABC's Rena Roy shows us how the district is making changes in hopes students and their families feel safe. Three and a half months after the mass shooting that rocked the nation, Uvalde School District students returning to classrooms once again. Many, like Caitlin Gonzalez, concerned about going back after the tragedy, she spoke out at a town hall last week. You want me to go to your schools, right? Yes. I don't know how that how long that will last. This year's start date pushed back so security changes could be made across the district, including assigning 33 state troopers at schools, creating one single point of entry at each school, and hiring a campus monitor responsible for walking the grounds and checking gates, locks, and doors. Eight-foot fencing has also been installed at elementary schools in the district. Veronica Matas is a teacher with the district and lost her daughter Tess in the shooting. There was a question of whether I was mentally ready, but not to go back. Teaching was always something I've wanted to do, and I know that Tess would have wanted me to go back. As the community tries to move forward, the city of Uvalde filled with encouraging posters, makeshift memorials, and 21 larger-than-life murals honoring the 21 victims. Before we go to work every morning, we drive this way. We'll say good morning. And, and it's we'll just like she's smiling at us. And students here in Texas are encouraged to wear maroon today in support of Uvalde. There will also be a prayer walk tonight, so the community here is really coming together as everyone tries to heal. Rena Roy, ABC News, Uvalde, Texas. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.